There's a giant under ice. He just ate this one. You're watching Canadian Mountain Man, your guide to Canada's wilderness. rough walking around here you, you have to watch your step it's rubble full bay that we're in all you can hear this morning is the birds straight out there that we seen the killer whales yesterday. Morning, Greg. Morning. How was your sleep? Terrible. For today? It's right up there with uh, the killer lake survival situation. Sleeping on the rocks. Not bringing any bedding. May as well not have brought any. <laughs> Here. Some are dead. Some aren't. So in low tide, we could probably go through here and find some to boil up. Food everywhere on the island. There's a few. for a few mushrooms. There. There's the beauty. Be awesome to see some chicken of the woods or something. What? Find some chicken of the woods. We'll never go hungry. There's lots of slugs. It gets really bad. Start boiling those big boys up. There's so many of them. There's a nice big one here too. Hopefully it doesn't resort to that. The fishing's been pretty good. Too hooked. 
I found my first velvet top bolete. These are very tasty. I usually make them into like chili or add them to like burrito meat or fajitas. They're great. Even in lentil soup, they're an amazing, amazing mushroom. The Admiral Belit. And we'll be chefing that guy up. He's in perfect shape. We couldn't find nicer. So we'll be looking for a few more of those. Fry them up with some fresh fish or maybe some mussels. Should be tasty. Amazing country through here. Some mushrooms coming, but not what we're looking for. It's been very dry in this area this year. Amazing country to walk through. It's so open. That's why Finn is having so much fun. I'm going to keep this mushroom up here by my chest so he doesn't grab a hold of it. We want to eat it tonight. <laughs> He'll think it's a stick or something. This truly is amazing country. Big trees. Very unique. My kind of country. Awesome for mushroom picking, that's for sure. You can see everywhere. Look at the size of that stump. There's a monstrous tree there. That's the interesting little find. I put the uh, velvet top beside there, or Admiral Berlit. But those, folks, are winter chanterelles. Yellowfoot chanterelle. Just take the biggest one so you can see. And they are completely tasty. They're very tasty. But they're just tiny. They're just starting. So this must be a microclimate. I don't think you'll find very many more. There's something going on there that's really cold. And uh, as you can see, they're starting to come. Maybe frost hit the ground or something triggered it. But if you look, it's tiny. There's some more. I said that we probably wouldn't find any more, but there are quite a few here. Oh, I don't want to ruin him. I had a little basket with me. Start a pile here. It's not a lot, but it's enough for a meal. Some are kind of dry. Just pick the biggest ones here. Look at how dry they are, they're crumbling. A few more down here, but they're very small, so we'll just leave those and uh, go try and find Finn and Greg. These are winter chanterelles, beauties. There's not lots of them, but they'll make a perfect addition to some fried up fish. It's amazing how dried the stems are. They crack and break off, but they're still very good and edible. And they'll soak up some of the juices from the fish and Turn out perfect. My pathway in the forest sometimes, the easiest route, a log. Now I came over here to see what those are. From a distance I couldn't tell. I'm suspicious they're golden chanterelles. So we'll climb down there. There's actually one more right over here. It's not a large concentration of them. 
But again, enough for a meal. There's got to be more. my hopes up but it could be golden chanterelles oh beautiful absolutely perfect you can see it's been dry that's what happens to the stem when it's been a dry year but those are perfect oh Greg's going to be blown away we kind of Lost each other a little bit. Look at that. Amazing. And that's one of my favorite mushrooms on the planet right there. It has a nice flavor of light hint of apricot or fruit. And man, does it make awesome gravies. Incredible gravies, sauces, pastas. There's really anything you can do with them. They're amazing. And I'm pretty blown away that I found this little tiny patch. There's a couple more over there. Take a look at those two. Just make sure. There's obviously a microclimate in here because this one's very far along. It's got a hole in the top of it already. But, a little bit of brushing off, it'll be just as tasty as the rest. When you're out here trying to eat what you find, you can't be that picky. That one's perfect. Well guys, thanks for tagging along on the mushroom picking today. We're going to actually go out fishing next. Check our crab traps, should be a blast. Golden chanterelles. Perfecto. Huge man. They're probably catching salmon. Eh? Can you uh, video for now? Huh? Can you video for now? It's zoomed in a bit. What do you want me to do? I just got to pull up my line. I oh, I catch see. a whale. Well, the whales are all around us. <laughs> it's getting heavy. <laughs> Look at him. He's coming right at us. Oh, my God. You got to hear, man. How? What do you mean, how? <laughs> You're not allowed to run your motor beside them, Greg. Well, get your bait out of the water. Like start paddling or what? You better get ready. He's coming right up underneath of us it. or past us or something. Because we're not allowed to run the motor, so we better just calm down, I guess. He's swimming right underneath us. He's gonna come up over there. Well, I guess that's what I was seeing last night, right?
I see that other one that was jumping. Look at the little ones right there, the porpoises. Yeah. There was a giant one that just swam under our boat. It's like monster. That was his blowhole, and his whole body was about four times the size of our boat. Oh, no. That's why the way that one jumped, if it landed on your boat, good night. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be no more <laughs> Rocky Mountain bushcraft, that's for sure. Be Captain Arab. <laughs> Weird how they can just vanish like that, eh? That's what's eerie about them. They can just disappear. There he is. There he is going in there. That's amazing how they can. The distance he traveled on one breath. Look at the porpoises. They're chasing. Oh, look at there's a pile of porpoises coming our way right there. Peninsula. Amazing, eh? Another big one over there. If we could have caught that on footage when he did the whole mark. Oh, when he was that jumping. That was magnificent. Oh. Like, to... to the sheer momentum to launch an animal that size. There's another big one way over there, look. Yeah. There's something going on special this week in this bay, eh? Yeah. Well, well we're going to see a lot more of it, I'm sure. Yeah. Man. Is that rocks or another one over there? Rocks, I think. Skin. Once you load them up, they balance fine, right? But you gotta have some weight in the pan. These golden jam travels are amazing, hey, look. Second row. <laughs> and just poach those up for a bit. That look good. Yep, I got a close up. I could hang out here all day tomorrow. Depending yeah, I, on what we do. Like I could almost yeah. And it can be tough if you're you got bears around and 
But I mean, like I say, I slept really good in, in Patagonia, but there was no predators really, cougars and the pigs. Yeah. And I didn't worry about either one. Mm -hmm. you know? This is coming along nicely. Look at that. Beautiful. With a nice score finding the golden chanterelles. They're gonna go perfect with that white white fish. smell this right now. Coming along nicely. Greg's been going to be blown away. Greg, have you ever had golden chanterelles? No. No? Didn't go away. Golden chanterelles. Fresh fish. Salmon are calling, Greg. Well, they're calling me. I don't know about you. Be sure to tune in next week for the rest of Greg and I's adventure. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.